Have you seen the new Naruto Funko Pops? These things look amazing. We're gonna talk about them. Stick around. What is going on everyone? Welcome back. My name is Jeremy. I know I'm a little delayed on this because these Naruto Pops were announced like a week and a half, two weeks ago. Uh, they just came up for pre-order. So I'm sure most of you have already seen all these, but when I saw the glam shots of these Naruto Pops, I, I love these ones. These are some of my favorite commons. The chases, well, the chase that's available for one of them is amazing. Like the choices that Funko, Funko actually made good decisions this time. I'm very thrilled. I can't wait to get these ones. I know we still have a little bit of wait time on them before the pre-orders come in, but we're gonna break down each one of the new Naruto Funko Pops that they did announce. Again, I am very excited for these. Let's get started. Really quick, I just do wanna say that these are not in any particular order. A lot of these characters are some of my favorite Naruto characters. I did not put them in order from top to bottom, least, least favorite to most favorite, anything like that. The first one we're gonna talk about is Shino. I love Shino, he's a great character in the show. This one looks great. He is a shinobi from Team 8. I really love how Funko put like the insects surrounding him like on the sides. So it, it just really makes it look really dynamic. Um, I've always wondered when they're going to come out with a Shino Pop, how they would do it to, to like portray his abilities and what he does with the insects in the show. So I think it's really neat how they did it. I can't wait to see it in person because I want to see how detailed like the insects really are. Like if if they're just like little black specks or like how how much detail they put into them. I'm very excited for this one. Choji is the first of two from Team 10 that Funko announced. So I really like Choji in the show. The pop looks great. I like how they really use his arm like enlarging the fist to make the multi size really um, it really shows what he was able to do with his body in the show. What I really hope we can see Funko do in the future, since they are doing Choji now, it would be it would be super great to get like a 6 or even a 10 inch pop of him as his larger form. I think that would be really cool. I really hope we can see that, but I'm not upset with this Choji. He is a hilarious character in the show. I love his appetite and just how he just, he's always hungry. It's super funny. Very excited for this one. All right, our second member from Team 10 is gonna be Eno. You probably already guessed it because we already have a Shikamaru pop. We already have, well, we're getting a Choji pop. And then um, we do have an Asuma pop, rest in peace. Very sad what happens to him. Um, very gut-wrenching moment in the show, so. I think it's been around long enough that it's not really a spoiler alert anymore. So um, it's, it's going to be awesome to have all of Team 10. Team 10 is one of my favorite ones in the show. So the Eno Pop in particular, I really enjoy how they're doing her pose. I believe this is the mind body switch would be what she's doing. Like her mind transfer where she takes over the host and then she can control them. I'm pretty sure that's what she's doing. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Um, I've been wrong before, so it wouldn't be the first time, but just let me know if that's what she's doing. It looks like it is to me, at least. I would really like to point out, I think it's great how Funko is using the figures to pose them appropriately. So you know what they're doing. Like a lot of the, like I mentioned with the Shino, like it's hard for the bugs and with, even with Eno, like her ability is to like take over her mind. So it's kind of hard to put that in a figure. So I think this they do a great job with this one of showing what her character did in the show. I think it's great. We are getting another member of the Anbu. He also was a temporary member of Team 7, which is Naruto's team. So we are getting a Funko Pop of Sai, finally. So um, I'll be completely honest, when Sai first came on the scene in the show, he kind of drove me crazy. I couldn't stand him. He was, I don't know, I just didn't like his character. But as the show progressed, he did grow on me. I really like his technique, like his jutsu. 
I think it's really cool. The, I believe what he's doing in the pose is the super beast, like the imitating drawing where he makes the, the drawing come to life and then you can like ride them or he can use them for like Intel and stuff like that. It's really cool technique. And um, I'm really excited for this one. It's not like the craziest, coolest one, but he was a pivotal character in the show and a very important person. I, I'm surprised it took them this long to make a Psy Funko Pop. So I don't believe there is a Psy. There's a lot of Naruto ones. So I, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure when I searched that there was no other Psy Funko Pop. I believe this is the first one. And we are gonna have a little intermission here. Just gonna ask that if you're enjoying the video so far, just feel free to click the like button and then just subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it. I do appreciate seeing the support. It does mean a ton to me, more than you know. Okay, we talked about like the the good characters in Naruto that they announced. So now we're gonna kind of transition into the more the more villains, like the Akatsuki members, the ones that I'm super excited for. Like I know I'm excited for all these, but the Akatsuki is one of my favorite groups of bad guys in any show I've ever seen. So I'm super excited to talk about these next ones. Next up is gonna be Nagato. So this looks to be like a pre-pain Nagato. I'm I'm pretty sure this is like right after Yahiko dies. So he kind of goes nuts on, um, I believe his name was Hanzo, the salamander dude. Um, he goes crazy on him. He, his Rinnegan awakens and he just goes nuts and he get these rods in his back. The reason I don't think it's like the post-pain Naruto battle is because uh, he didn't have a robe on in that scene, and he was a lot, he looked a lot older and more frail. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that this is when Yahiko dies, and that's when he first gets the rods in his back. So uh, again, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, or give your opinion on, on what time period they're trying to go for with this one. This does glow in the dark. This one looks amazing in the glow with the Rinnegan. Nagato is one of my favorite Naruto characters. So, I mean, my favorite is Pain, but Nagato is definitely like probably my second favorite. So I'm very happy that they're doing this one. I cannot wait to own this. And Nagato does lead into my favorite ones that Funko has announced and they are planning on releasing. We will finally have a complete Akatsuki line. All right, we've got Kakuzu with his creepy detachable limbs and his multiple life sources. This one looks great. I know I keep saying that these look great. I mean it. They all are amazing. The details on them. He is one of the coolest Akatsuki members. Not like the top Akatsuki, but I would say maybe like he might be in the top five maybe. He's a little creepy for my liking, but this is going to be a great one to have. And we have an original Akatsuki member from way back when Nagato and Yahiko, when they all created the Akatsuki. So we have Conan. So this one's great. Honestly, this is one of the reasons why I wanted to do this video. I saw this pop, literally it's giving me like the shivers because the details are amazing. Um, her dance, what's it called? Dance of the Shikigami, I believe, is kind of when she turns into the paper and she can do some crazy stuff with it. It looks amazing. The robe even has the paper look to it and her wings, like everything on this pop this is an out of box pop for sure. This one is, it It would be a shame to leave this in box and I am an in box collector. My third favorite Akatsuki member is getting a Funko Pop. This is Sasori of the Red Sand. So he is a master puppeteer in the show. I love the puppet uh, shinobi and villains and everything. I think it's a really cool concept. It's it's a really neat idea for the creator to come up with, like controlling puppets with Chakra. I think it's cool. I think it's a really neat way that Funko um, is using the blue strings, like the strands, to show his wires and his, his Chakra control for when he was using the puppets. I think it's really cool. This is gonna be a Funko Shop exclusive, so not sure when it's gonna be released, but I'm definitely buying this one. Last but definitely not least is the only Naruto pop in this run that does have a chase. I think this is the best character or one of the best characters in Naruto. 
that could have a Chase Funko Pop. This was genius for Funko to do this. So Hedon is the Akatsuki member that I am referring to. He is my second favorite Akatsuki member. If you know me, you know that Pain is by far my favorite character in Naruto. I love him. He's amazing. But Hedon is a very close second when it comes to the Akatsuki members, at least, and the villains in the show. I love what he does and his abilities and just how he uses them. So now when I say this is one of the best characters to have a chase is because he literally have, he has two forms in the show. He's got his normal common form. And then he has his chase version, which is like his Jashin, like Grim Reaper form. This is unfortunately the form that he uses in his fight against Asuma. If you haven't seen it, it's, it's very heartbreaking. It's very sad. It gets to me every time, but it's really cool. Like the fight's a really good fight. It is sad that Asuma dies, but I love watching him and what he is capable of. I think he is super strong. Again, this is a great one. I 100%, I might, I know I've said before that I like to just get like two or three and do a kind of a chase roulette and see if I get lucky. I might honestly buy a case of this one. Pretty sure I got all the new Naruto Funkin Pops in this line. Uh, let me know if I missed any. Um, pretty sure I didn't though. I I love that they're doing, they're not doing duplicates. Like most of these, if not all of them, have never had a Funko Pop before. So this is great. I love seeing Funko make decisions like this and not just reusing um, different characters that they've already done hundreds of times. Well, not hundreds, but you get the point. Um, in my opinion, these are all must-have Funko Pops if you collect Naruto Funko Pops specifically. They're great. I love them. I can't wait to get them. I believe they're coming around January, maybe February, so not, not too much longer, but man, I'm excited for these ones. They, they are going to be amazing. The details are great. I'm also probably going to end up getting two of each Akatsuki member just so that I can have like an out of box display because I really love the Akatsuki. I know I've said it a bunch of times in this video, but I'm really excited to have all the members out of box next to each other on a really cool display on some shelf somewhere in my office. It's gonna be awesome. Cannot wait for these to be released. And I think that's gonna about wrap it up for today. Um, let's just say it is a great time to be a Naruto Funko Pop collector. It, you have no idea how, like, how excited I am for these. But uh, I just want to thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Feel free to like it. Comment down below which one of these in this Naruto run is your favorite. And then just tell me why it's your favorite. And then just feel free to subscribe to the channel. It would mean a lot to me. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. Like very genuinely, you have no idea what it means to me to see the sport. Uh, just remember to be kind to each other. Thank you for watching and have a good day.